And hello there guys, welcome to what is hopefully going to be a very short let's play. I have no intention of um, dragging this one out as I've done with the previous um, version of this, which I think I did two of them, I can't remember, it might have been two. Uh, yeah, if you can't figure out what it is already, well you'll be able to know anyway from the title. Uh, it's Resident <laughs> Evil, the first one. Um, not remake, which I would actually might, might get around to doing at some point. Um, just uh, quickly change something. Am I playing this in full screen mode? I don't think I am. No. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Huh, I didn't even realise it had um, it supported vibration on this. Anyway, um, this is going to be a no frills version. In, uh, version. It'll be a no frills run of the game. There'll be nothing. I won't be going for any. Uh, anything special with it? It's just a just a bit of light fun. It shouldn't take me too long to beat it anyway, because uh, I don't think this is too difficult to do. Well, not Jill's anyway. I'm avoiding doing Chris's scenario because ugh, when I did it on my previous channel, it was. Alpha Absolutely team is flying around the forest the zone, situated in um, one of the worst let's plays I think I've ever done. We're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. This is still one of the most cheesiest. Uh, bizarre murder cases have recently there as well. Raccoon City. Still one of the cheesiest openings there are to the Resident Evil series. There are reports of families being attacked by some a group really, of about really ten cheesy people. Ones, but Victims were apparently Capcom are just the absolute Bravo team went to the hideout of the group so and disappeared. They know how to do a good cheesy intro. Look, Chris. That smoke doesn't exactly look real. It looks very um, looks very CGI. And ridiculously long floor shots. There we go. Finally, it was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it, but strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we I soon discovered why. I think this version is different to the one that I played back here, uh, back when I was a kid, because it didn't have music playing over the introduction. At least I don't think it did. I don't remember it having music over it. Hey, come here! <laughs> Dogs covered in jelly, which is disgusting. Ah! <laughs> I was going to shout Joe's in down here. I think I'll let Joe do it for me in a second. Joseph! <laughs> Why did they try and help him instead of going away? I have seen the uncut version no, of this introduction no, as well. No. I really prefer it to the uh, to the version everyone else got. I think the US and the English version is uh, the same, bar a couple of minor, a couple of differences, some small differences. But the Japanese version is the one that got the uh, got the uncut version with Joseph's head getting uh, half chewed off and blood coming out of his neck. And that's disgusting. It's good gratuitous grossness, which I think I just completely made up. Anyway, Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield. He's 26, 25? Jill Valentine. Yeah, Jill's younger than I am. I'm probably 25. Mary Burton. Barry Mann. The most manliest ginger beard ever. Rebecca Chambers. Resident Evil. God, I forgot how cheesy that music is. It's really bad. Okay, um, benefits of playing as Jill. We get the, the lockpick, which means I don't have to worry about lugging around small keys in my backpack for most of, or if not, or the entire game. So. What is this? I feel a lot wow. better about that. What a mansion! God, this game has not aged well at all. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. 
Don't open that door. Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Do, can someone tell me what accent Barry is supposed to have? Because I can't figure it out. Stay alert! Okay, we'll do that. Because I've, I've cannot figure out what accent he has. Anyway. The dining room. A dining room. Apparently it was intended to serve quite a few people. It's a bloody big table. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Okay. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I don't think it's ever explained whose blood that actually belongs to, either. I don't think the game ever tells you. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a zombie, because obviously Chris wasn't injured. But, um, yeah. It's one of the things in the game that's left unanswered, really. I'm guessing it was supposed to be a zombie, but... God knows where the body was, though. Um, yeah, there's bullets over there, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get them without getting bitten. Now, here's a really infamous cutscene. Remake doesn't really do it justice. So. Alright, let's see if we can get these bullets. I don't think we're going to be able to do it without getting bitten. Oh, I swear that zombie's quicker. Alright, let's just go out the room and we'll go get them when we come back in. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. Yeah, this is so cool. It's pixelated blood. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Fair enough. I don't think we can go get those bullets just yet though, can we? No, okay. Fair enough. We'll have to wait until we can get the bullets, unfortunately. Oh no, is Wesker's disappeared. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. I actually prefer the music to this, in this version, to the original, now I think about it. It's much more creepier. The version I played didn't have this music. The original version. Well, I mean, the one we got over here in the UK didn't have this music. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. And there it is, one of the greatest lines in video game history. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. <laughs> Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. <laughs> I never understood that line either. What I think it was originally was that some of the lines that the characters recorded I think Capcom probably altered the script, and they didn't record new lines, so if that makes any sense. 
think Cap the had the voice actors record lines for an early script, and then Capcom changed it but kept the original lines in the game. That's all I can really think of, because that line and a couple of the others just don't ever make any sense. It's like it's all I can think of really is that the originally were it was originally part of a different script. Who knows? Because I think this was originally meant to be was it on the N64 or was it on? Oh, for God's sake, stop doing that strange little dance. Um, was that Resident Evil 2? It might have been Resident Evil 2. I remember one of them was supposed to originally be on the N64. And there was a beta version of this as well, but I can just barely remember that as well. Oh, fuck. Can't put the ammo now, excellent. Oh well. <laughs> just gonna try and pick up the ammo, but looks like I'm not gonna be able to now. Uh, we can get that green herb though. Most of the zombies in this game I'll probably be dodging anyway. I don't need to go in there, do I? No. Uh, let's get the shotgun. Have I got enough room? Just about. Now I don't remember if this room's empty or not. It should be, because we're not playing in a range mode. So... I think if you're playing this in a range mode, or as Chris, then there's zombies in here. Yeah, it's empty. Cool. I never thought, ever even realised um, those hatches went up when I first played this, but then I think I was either 11 or 12 when I first played this game. It's locked, oh no! Right, so basically all you need to do is wait wait this out and Barry will turn up and rescue you. Um, or you could use the broken shotgun, but I don't remember where you find that. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? Help me, please! The door won't open! Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Kick this door down. Hurry! This yeah. way! Come on, hurry up. It is much more dramatic in um, the remake version. Oh, Barry! Oh, I really should play a remake, shouldn't I? That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so modest. All right, anyway. Let us leave. I think we should be... I can't remember which direction this takes you into. Oh, it's this one, never mind. Uh, there is a puzzle we need to do as well. Oh, that's going to be fun. Shit. Can I get past it? Yes, I can. You can dodge the enemies quite easily in this one. Um, probably because the AI is just absolutely horrific. Very, very simple AI in this. Yep, I'll mix those. Well, zombie AI anyway. The hunters. The hunters uh, are a lot sharper. Uh, literally, and. Um, oh, can we take that? Yes, we can. I'm going to keep a hold of that for the time being because I'm going to use that a little bit early on. Stick the shotgun away, put that away, put that away. Put that away. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Right, let's go. This is in direct comparison. Um, like, it's just completely different to how my Resident Evil Code Veronica X uh, Let's Play is going at the moment. This is going rather smoothly, <laughs> which is worrying. Because if it's going smoothly, I'm probably going to end up 
jinxing myself halfway through and ended up having a, a truly atrocious uh, run of this game. I hope not, because it won't be much fun to watch. And I think I just screwed myself over. <coughs> oh no, I didn't. Dandy. No, it's locked anyway. Right, there's nothing I can do up here, is there? So, I uh, can I get past you? <coughs> yeah. I totally forgot there's actually nothing up there that we can do for the time being. There is a shortcut, but I'm not going to bother taking it for the time being. Instead, get past this guy. Yes, we can. I'm going to go solve that puzzle. Solve the puzzle and get our first emblem. Which isn't too difficult to get. Alright. Just need to remember the uh the order of this now. I think it's newborn first. Uh yep. Whatever you do, don't shoot the don't pull out your gun and start shooting those crows because <coughs> it's not worth it. It really isn't. Um, picture of an infant, yes. Picture of a, a lively boy, yes. Picture of a young man, is it young man next or is it... I don't remember if it's young man next. Picture of a tired middle-aged man, oh okay it's young man next and then it's middle-aged man. Go from an infant to young man quite quickly. Uh, press that one. And it's middle aged, I think. Oh, shut up. And then it should be elderly after that. I think that's the last one. That should give us the emblem we need. Well, the crest or whatever it is. Uh, it's the end of life. There's a switch below. You push it, yes. Hooray! Not quite sure why there's church bells ringing for, but... And there's our first crest, which we are not going to use just yet, I think. We'll hold on to it. And, uh, even though the room that we need to use it in is literally... You could throw a paper... You could just, like... You could throw a paper plane. It's that kind of distance. It's right next to it. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to avoid using it for the time being. Just gonna put it into a safe box and wait until I've got all the other crests. Which shouldn't take too long to go. There's not that many. I think there's four altogether. If my memory doesn't fail me, which it probably does, but I think there was only four red ones to get. So we should be okay. Avoid these doggies. <laughs> Fuck. Excuse me. I didn't mean to swear though. Ah! Looks like I'm not going to be getting that ammo anytime soon. Slightly annoying. I yeah, don't know what I was checking my health for. I only took one bite anyway. Right. Uh, oh, hello, Barry. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something. What's wrong with this house? Whoa! This hall is dangerous! Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. Mm -hmm. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment! <laughs> I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Especially against living things. Oh, really? Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. Terrific grenade launcher rounds for a gun that we don't have. Woot. <laughs> well, we don't have the gun yet, but I'm not even sure if we can get it this early on. I think we get it off um, Forest. I can't remember where Forrest is, I'm sure he's upstairs. Um, 
we need to go upstairs anyway because we've pretty much done everything down here for the time being. Um, yeah, this way I think. Is it this way? I can't even remember. I might be wrong. No, I'm not wrong. It's this way. All right. Okay, let us leave. And I'm almost a hundred percent positive that that Forest has the uh, grenade launcher. Yeah. Hurrah! I'm just gonna be going into our safety, into our toy box. Has he got any ammo on him actually? It's Forest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Do you have any ammo on you though? No, you don't. Just. A Nah. Nah. There we go. That was very, very lucky. I do miss the music in that room now, um, where the blood is. It had some very, very tense music. Looks like it got taken out, though. And I don't even know why I'm going in this direction for, because I don't think I can do anything in here. Alright, come on. Oh, yes! Yosh, 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 yosh. Alright. Can we go in here? Oh, of course we can't. Um. Crap. I think I might have screwed myself over a little bit here. There we go. I think this room just takes you back above the safe room. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know what made me think. Oh, I'm sure that that's the wrong way, isn't it? I think I've gone the wrong way again. Shit, I think I have. Yep. Oh. Well, that was clever. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I went the wrong direction. That was really clever. <laughs> Oh, this isn't going well. Um, right. It's going better than my Code Veronica LP, anyway. Right. I'm not quite sure why I keep bringing up Code Veronica for, since this is completely different. Oh well, let's try a staircase on this side instead. I think there's a safe room over here anyway, so we can dump some stuff off. Oh, great. Might be a rare occasion here where I actually have to do something. Um, Alright, have I got my knife equipped? Yes, I do. But then again, maybe I won't need to use it. Oh, yosh! No, no! Damn it. Uh, come on. No, it's going too quick. Let's get a knife in, but... Oh, screw it. There's no point. I'm not wasting my time. I need to get that bloody gem anyway, but I can leave it for the time being. It's not that big a deal. Uh, oh, shit. Come on. Oh, God, that was close. That was way too close. I'm going to have to go back for that bloody gem now. Like it or lump it, so I need to go back for it. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get the next gem. Hey. Alright, uh, is there anything to pick up in here? Incribbit. I will take the Incribbit, thank you. Alright, uh, let's drop these, let's drop some stuff off. Uh, da -da -da. Drop that off. Drop that off. Definitely drop that off. Where's the rest of my increments? Okay, apparently you can't. Uh, that'll do. Uh, I can't believe I've only got four ink ribbons. I thought I picked up more than that. Uh, let's just go ahead and save, actually. 
I don't think that's pretty good progress for the first part anyway. Managed to get the grenade launcher, the shotgun, the first crest. All in 25 minutes. Alright. Hang on. Yes, I think that's pretty much it, I guess. So, I guess I will see you guys in uh, part two, hopefully. And yeah, see you then. Take care.